Hey everybody, I'm Meg from the Somerville Public Library. We're here at the Library Gardens on the east side of the lawn and we're getting ready to do a gardening workshop with our farmer Nathan from Green City Growers. Um, this workshop is made possible with funding by the Friends of the Somerville Public Library. Thank you so much, Friends. Um, today we're going to do some basic maintenance on the raised bed gardens and uh, Nathan is gonna walk us through and show us some helpful techniques and trips, tips for um, managing the garden at this time of year. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Nathan. Hi guys, uh, I'm Nathan. Uh, so if we uh, go from left to right uh, in this bed, uh, our peas haven't quite germinated quite well, but that's okay because it leads to new opportunities uh, with warm weather crops such as uh, cucumbers and tomatoes that we're putting today. Uh, then we're going to reseed our greens mix uh, because uh, for lettuce it needs light to germinate. Yeah. You, you don't quite bury it, you just kind of uh, sprinkle it on the surface. And then uh, add in some hot peppers. Uh, in this bed uh, we, we fortunately have some bok choy that's gone to flower but uh, that's just because of the dramatic shift in the, the past uh, two, two weeks uh, with the hot weather. Our topic of the day is sort of um, is, uh, is hot weather uh, vegetables. So um, when you think of vegetables, you can think of them as like two different categories, cool weather and warm weather. Uh, cool weather would be bok choy, broccoli, uh, kale. And then uh, hot weather would be more uh, things that are more heat sensitive or, or less heat sensitive, which are tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplants, and uh, sweet peppers and hot peppers. Uh, so we'll be taking out the flowered bok choy and replacing that um, with eggplant also. And then we'll be thinning the pasta greens mix to get rid of the flowered stuff uh, with a uh, new spicy microgreens mix and regular uh, microgreens mix. But it uh, looks like we have a lot to do today, but um, today we'll be also harvesting uh, some mint to uh, prune back mint. We'll cut uh, about the top third and we'll do it all at a uniform uh, height so that the new growth is all uh, level with each other. And actually by the time we come back with uh, our next video in two weeks, or uh, next month, we'll, uh, this will all be grown back. And, uh, that's really something that you don't need to be worried about uh, pr pruning too much of because it will usually always come back. Uh, and then we'll be harvesting some uh, mix, uh, some lettuce mix. But uh, let's get into that. So to uh, treat leaf miner, you cut off the infected leaves and uh, then crush any uh, of the eggs. This is it for our garden workshop today. Um, Nathan is gonna give us a little summary of everything that we've done today. And as you can see from the background, gardening doesn't happen without like getting your hands dirty and making a bit of a mess. Um, but we did plan a lot of great things and we're looking forward to our next one in July. Um, you can check our website, uh, somervillepubliclibrary.org for more information about the next workshop. And also our Facebook page is a great place to look for more event information. So I will let Nathan describe what we've done today and we'll see you next time. So for both beds, we uh, weeded each. Then in this bed, uh, we planted uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, and hot peppers, plus seeded out lettuce mix. And then, and, and then trellised the hot peppers and the tomatoes, and then did some companion cropping, a companion planting with basil and some uh, edible, edible flowers. And in this one, we did the same with the tomatoes and companion uh, planting, plus planted out uh, eggplant and seeded out radishes and bush beans. So uh, yeah, we're looking pretty well. And uh, I just need to clean up and uh, do a few last minute weeding things, but it's turning out well. Oh, and then uh, we also harvested uh, mint, other radishes, lettuce, and, and yeah, so we really started to produce some produce.